Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you all doing? I hope you are amazing. We are doing well and we thank, we thank God. Yes. We thank God for everything he has done for us. Mm -hmm. We are feeling blessed and feel thankful. Mm -hmm. Why are you laughing? No, I'm just looking at you. Okay. <laughs> so, in case you hear Inaya Kwa background, please understand. Currently, we still don't have a house manager, so we have to to manage you know working with her around mm -hmm. and also you have some fundies around so bear with us with the background noise kindly yes. yeah. yeah and of course today we are going to do a very unique and different kind of video you know um many people when they see medina and i they normally think that of course uh, we started dating or we started being together uh, the other day when I had it all, but today I want to tell you guys a uh, very different. You really have it all? <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. Yeah, but I would say that many people think that, you know, I got, uh, I got the money, and then, and then, I, yeah. then you came to my life. Mm -hmm. But then, basically, the story begins when I was still uh, in campus and I was working at Y254 mm -hmm. and then I met Medina and yeah, we started dating. My life was not that good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be giving you uh, details in a few, but yeah, she loved me for who <laughs> I am and, and I mean, I'm so grateful for that. Let me tell you the man I met because Actually, you know, I saw some people judging and there's that one particular person who was like, oh, these content creators, when they get money, they start uh, introducing, he used a, a word that I will not use, mm -hmm. the B word. Uh, but that's not the case. Let me tell you something. When I met Ali, well, he was cute. That's what attracted <laughs> me to him first. Mm -hmm. He was cute and all and then you had this muscle that I mm, love so much. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, when they get married they get so, you know, relaxed and, mm -hmm. you know, but anyway, back to the topic. So when I met Ali, well, he was not, I wouldn't say he was happy. I, I didn't have anything in other words. <laughs> I had just gotten, <laughs> guys, I had just gotten on TV. Uh, I was getting a very, a minimal pay of around, can I say the amount? Yeah, you can yeah, say. Around 15,000 a month. Mm -hmm. uh, back then I was staying in a single room around Ngara area. If you guys know Ngara, uh, there are these railway houses. So I was actually staying there. And uh, the single room was going on, uh, was going for like 8,500 a month. <laughs> and I was cohabiting with my friends. <laughs> He was living in a single house but and he had a roommate. Yeah, I had a roommate. <laughs> now, this was the deal. I was supposed to pay 4,500 for the for the room. Mm -hmm. uh, for, and then he was supposed to pay like 4,000 shillings. So the total amount was going to be 8,500. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm meeting this lady and she's so beautiful and she's living in a bed sitter. Expensive bed sitter. Yeah, in an expensive <laughs> bed sitter. So um, I'm like uh because the the circumstances uh, at which we met of course we're going to be telling you one day the story of how we met yeah. the circumstances uh of how we met it was easier for me to know where she lived because mm -hmm. we met uh near, your cousin near my cousin's yeah. place so and she was staying around that, around that area so uh she was having a good uh, a good house a bed seat of course with a with basic stuff, I would say. Yeah. And on on the other hand, I was living in a single uh, room, uh, three by six bed. <laughs> it was a three by six. It was a three by six, but you used to say it's a one. Hey, you're, you're the one by six. You guys, you know that Ali was hesitant to take me to his place at first. I don't know why. Because I had a roommate. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the first time I went to his house, I was. Shocked. shocked. I was like shocked. But let me tell you something. When Ali was in Y254, when we met, I didn't know he was a presenter. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I, I never knew he was like a TV person. I knew, I knew like way later. So um, I went to his place and I was shocked. I was like, hey, so this is where you live. That This is where you've been. <laughs> you see, need to come. No, that was not actually the reason. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think mainly for for men who are probably in campus mm. they know like uh sometimes they are you you have you 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 have it's hard 
you know, to do the exile thing. Sometimes it's really hard because your friend is like, hey, I just wait, Maze. Just wait. Mm. Yeah, you know, they, sometimes they also are exiling you. By the word exile, I hope you guys understand. Yeah, like but uh, to cut the long story short, so that's where I was living in a single house in Ngala, three by six. Three by six. There was a curtain. There was a curtain that was. And then was a, <laughs> I remember very well. There was a curtain then... that was dividing the seat, the sitting <laughs> room and the bedroom. <laughs> And the very then you had like a, a couch. I had a like one couch, yeah. a three seater, then one uh, one table, table with a one glass table, a computer, yeah, yeah, and a computer, yeah, and some few utensils. Yeah. So that, that that is who I was, guys, when this lady met me. So um um fast forward, uh, I think. Uh, he used to like to come to my place because me I had a shower and he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a shower, guys. Yeah, I didn't have a shower. He used to shower outside. Kwazile nini bafu ziko inje, bafu show inje. Like like we had a you know where we were living. Kwa you tukot ne shukuplot. So uh, not to say that it's bad it's to, live, bad. to live uh, there, but because I do believe that you must always it's, start yeah. from somewhere. But yes. we were sharing the bathroom, we were sharing, uh, we, were, we were sharing the bathroom and the toilet. Yeah. Go to Nashia. So we were like, uh, I think five people in that. If I'm not wrong, like three, one, two, three, like four, five people mm -hmm. plus the landlord, of course. Uh, his name was Paul, and then yeah, we were sharing the the, the toilet. The is of bathroom. Uh, the cho so we were sharing that with them then so my cousin doesn't have a, has a nice house mm. uh, my girlfriend has a nice house <laughs> so <laughs> I, I used to spend most of my time like when i'm not working when i'm not at, at work when i'm not busy i used to spend most of the time in pika mm. then fast forward i my roommates now got a girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> and he had to move out <laughs> then one day he just calls me randomly and tells me that you know what bro i just got a girlfriend and yeah i'm going to stay with her so i'm supposed to pay eight thousand five hundred that's like half of my rent i'm supposed to pay it. i mean half, half of my salary I'm, yeah, supposed supposed to pay. To pay. I'm like no no this is not going to work so i moved to a place called the zimmerman and i decided that you know what? I'm going to look for a cheaper house. So my budget was like four thousand up to around six thousand. Mm. I said like it's six thousand. That little back in a kitchen. Yeah. Mm. And all this time, guys, I'm being seen on TV and people are meeting fans and they're like, you started hey, being famous. Yeah, I started like being proper, proper famous. Mm. And I was like, wow, it, it's it's getting even scary because now you're famous and you're broke. Yeah. Broke. And, and let famous. me tell you something, guys. This guy. Even back then, he knew how to pick a local. So he used to dress so nice, but Rizzi Jua, like the way he was dressing, others is like the same problem, you know. <laughs> like Alifana pick a local, he was dressing. That's why you were shocked well. when you realized where I was living. Yes, like the way you dress and the way you are living, they were not corresponding. Yes. So now uh, I go to Zimmerman and look for a house. I get a very nice bed sitter. So I finally get a bed sitter of myself. Mm -hmm. No, my own shower, like her, my cousin. Uh, I still move with my small bed, still move with my small couch, couch and my laptop. And then... Computer, not laptop. I, I mean, not laptop, computer. And then a day comes, weeks after I've just moved. <laughs> now it's time for him to show me. Yeah. Where are you? No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah. Moved no, it's time for me to show her where I moved to because you know I'm proud. I am so happy I moved to a new place. Then the worst happens. It rains. It rains. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why I'm saying it. The worst happens. Now that place. Oh my god. So it's actually an apartment. You see, when you get into the gate, like it's a one apartment, but the buildings are like like it's two buildings. It's one apartment with two buildings inside. You know. And they're facing each other mm -hmm. yeah so you know when you get into most apartments there's usually the ground area where you can actually see up to the roof mm -hmm. and then the, the houses are staring at each other yeah. so the drainage was not proper like the drainage was was, was work mm -hmm. so this is the worst thing 
that has ever happened in my life. This you is very guys. embarrassing. So guys, when it rains, the drainage gets blocked and I don't know the science, the maths or the chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> now, the whole place floods. Guess what floods with? And now, it's flooding with stool. <laughs> pieces? With pieces, guys. And this Ew. is the day that I've decided that, you know what? I'm going My girlfriend is coming. Oh. See me. And then I get into the door. I think that day I slept at Dika. Yeah. So I was supposed to come and show you my new house. No. Uh -huh. Like, it ha before that, it, 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 it just happened. Like, the day it was raining, I was supposed not to come. Over yeah. Place. Now, uh, she's coming here and I'm going outside and I'm like, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> This is the place I'm supposed to show her. So, how do we get from the gate to where I'm living? Because I'm living in the first floor. So, the audacity of the caretaker <laughs> to put stones Instead on the way. Instead of fixing the sewage, the it, drainage. It, it, put, it puts like stones from the, <laughs> so that from, you can step over. From the gate yeah. to, to the stairs. Yeah. So, you're stepping on stones. stones and you know the stone is somehow submerged in water. <laughs> well, yeah, the stone is somehow submerged in water. So I'm supposed to. If you miss a step, maybe, uh, yeah. Like like that's a fact. Yeah. Like if you miss a step, a step you just step on, on the feces. So. Oh, okay, Peter, you see floating, floating, yeah, floating thing. Yeah, you know, you're walking and. Floating. That was like very embarrassing. So she came and I was like. I just lost her. I don't know if she's gonna come back. But first, and she came... you explained before when we entered the <laughs> building. Like, he came outside the building from the gate and he was like, Whatever you see in there, please, I didn't know this happens. It's flooding with feces. Okay, yes. wait, what? Yeah. Then she came. Now we had to remove her shoes outside. We can't get into a house with the shoes. And then. I remember that was the first time I also stopped using the tap water inside that house. Yeah. Like I, st I started buying water, mm. and I'm I was like I was like really really struggling. But then the problem is that uh, guys, whenever you're looking for a house, even if you don't have a girlfriend, I'm sure you have a, like female friends. Let them help you search for a good house because you men don't know to look for a house. Some of you don't know how to look for houses. Maybe because that house was a problem. First, it was the drainage. It was very dark inside. The showers <laughs> were not working. <laughs> yes, I thought I had a. There was no water. There was no water. It was it was crazy, but but she kept coming. Like yeah. she kept coming to the house. But let me tell you something. One thing about that small bed, that one by six bed, mm -hmm. at Kosana. Mm -hmm. Like it kept us. It kept us very close yes. to each other. It kept us very like, close. It was a nice bed, despite being that small. Because one one wrong move, you're down. down. <laughs> you're yeah. down, yeah? yeah. But we had so many memories in, in that those, house in the, with the things you had, especially the couch. Yes, yes. And the computer, because that, that was the first time I watched Hindi movies from your place. <laughs> you know, guys, do, guys, it's not like I was a fan of Hindi movies. This is what happened. <laughs> this is what happened. I got the computer from an Indian. <laughs> from an Indian guy, so he said Indian movies, and yeah, my girlfriend used to come and watch Indian movies. And then we were and when, he used to go to work and leave me in the house. And I put a hey, you can't 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 Try your best. Yeah, try it. But if you me, you can't even imagine. I clean everything. I put a clean house. I'm a picky one. I was like, oh, I found a wife. But now, used to find my eyes very red because I watch. I would watch Indian movies and cry. Yeah. You remember you are, you are coming home to my eyes being red because I was crying because of watching this movie. No, I was Especially just, the, I was just surprised, like how if you you're becoming emotional. If you watched a movie called Bajirang, Bajirangi by Jan, Bajirangi by Jan, that movie was emotional. I used to, I cried so much. Yeah. yeah. So um, now, guys, uh, we're in that house. Uh, we stayed for like a few months. 
Like, yeah, you have to move. No, 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 no. I wasn't like I have to oh, move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, remember. I wasn't like I have to mm -hmm. move. So we had something called salary delays. <laughs> if you guys have yeah. worked, you know, in any in office or yeah. in government of uh, offices, of course, sometimes there is delay. So the first month, the delay is there. The second month, delay. The third month, delay. Oh. Now the caretaker comes and tells me, you know what? You cannot continue to live in this house. I'm like why? You need to move out. You need to move out. Like you, you not, and, and you're going to leave everything that you, you have because of the arrears, in this yeah? house because of the arrears until you get it. Now that's when you're going to like get your things. I'm like, what am I going to do after this? Yeah. So, in the middle of me and the caretaker, uh, you know, kuvutana vutana, one day, also another thing, mm -hmm. my phone. Yeah. I had a phone that was like. A computer. If you unplug it, it takes like five minutes. It goes <laughs> off. <laughs> it takes like five minutes and it's go it goes off. So uh, that day, my phone was actually off, and then uh, my friend knocked at my door, and then he told me, "Ali, niaje unakukishafuto na events? Kwanu mekuwa wapi?" I'm like, Kwani, what's happening? Mm. I take his phone and then he's, he's a friend of mine who used to like live close by. He, I knew him way before when I used to hawk in Ngara. I used to sell clothes at Ngara. That's another story for another day. So he tells me like, Evans has been looking for you. So Evans is my friend, the one I used to <laughs> cohabit with. So he, he was still working also at uh, Y254. So he, I, I talked to Evans, he's like, what's up? He's like, uh, Tamima is looking for you. I'm like, who's Tamima? Like Tamima is the was now the TV manager if I'm not yeah, wrong. TPM switch. for Switch TV. They're like, no, they're looking for you. They have an opportunity for you. They want to give you a job. I'm like, what? Now I'm, I'm brushing. I take my phone. I plug it in. I put it on, and then I call Tamima. And they're like, hey Ali, this is Tamima. I'm looking for you. I want to work with you. Come for a screen Come test. Come for a screen test and everything. So at this particular point, I'm also, you know, dragging, uh, we are dragging each other with my, you know, land, land, yeah. with my caretaker actually, yeah. like, you have to pay. I'm like, I'll pay next week. I'm like, I'll pay next week. So by the time I got the job and I got the contract, he didn't, he didn't want to actually wait mm -hmm. until I, I, I pay. Yeah. He just like, you have to move, like, you have to leave because other people are also looking for this house. Mm -hmm. And coming to think of it. I don't think it was actually worth it, the stress. Yeah. Like he was giving me so much stress. Mm -hmm. And then you Anyway. So, <laughs> now, a week. Now I start working at point by four while I'm still staying in this house. Mm -hmm. And then, let's say, the week that I'm getting paid was the week that I'm, I was getting evacuated. Uh, mm -hmm. Evicted, evicted, evicted from this house. Mm -hmm. So they took my small woofer, which was for my friend. His name is Ken. They took my bed. They took my they took clothes. The they took actually. almost everything, mm -hmm. actually. Now the good thing is, you remember the coach? The the coach. Co yeah. I sold it like a week. <laughs> I sold it a week before. I sold it like a week before, before the eviction. Yeah, before the eviction for like I don't know how. I know I gave it to my friend, and he said he'll pay later. Mm -hmm. Then I sold my gas with my friend yeah. for one thousand five hundred, yeah. and we had that money. And the like reason we were selling those things it's because we had planned to move in together. Yes. And Mimi, I had my things, so we were like, we sell this one struck me easy. Yeah, but then from the, the main reason I was selling them is because I also needed money to move to bank. Yeah. I also needed money for food. Like, I, I didn't now, have anything. The problem here was after you got the job from the switch, uh, you left Y254, but then it it took so long before the, you started your contract. Yes, remember? yes. So you stayed for like a few months without a job. Without a job. It took the, it, mm. Because I remember I got the call in August mm. and I started working in January. Yes. So that's the thing, guys. Like, mm. that's the thing. Like, there was a period over there. So uh, I'm getting this job and. The week I'm getting paid is the week I'm getting evicted. So he evicts me, and then I think the next day. But then God was fighting for you. You got another job, Palakwa betting. Oh yeah. 
before yeah before yeah. exactly before i got the i got i got to start working at switch mm-hmm. i also got another a job, job at mm-hmm. um i think for you betting, can connect yeah yeah betting company it's yeah. called it was called i, I can't mention it anyway yeah. so i was also so a presenter there mm-hmm. so the day i'm getting paid at, at the betting side uh i mean betting uh, company mm-hmm. the day i'm getting evicted mm-hmm. so I was like, so this guy decided to evict me today. So this is what I'm <laughs> going to do. I'm not going to pay him. I'm going to let him evict me. And then start my start a new life. Yeah. That's how I went. Now, so we sat down. You had a meeting. To Kanza, to Kamwa. We just look for a house instead of Mimi Kushifika. Now we are Mishu. You know, just get a house and we start life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we start life. And we one bedroom. Yeah, we look for a one bedroom for around fifteen thousand. Yeah. Because now I'm having two jobs. Uh, and they're paying like they're well paying mm. like, and you want a convenient place where you won't have to struggle or to get to town yeah and you also in school it's mm. good so I, I i'm getting i got two jobs and uh <coughs> they're paying well so i move out and i started life mm-hmm. so after after starting life uh we had to also start buying new stuff you know that includes beds that includes a TV and all the basic stuff that people normally buy when they start living together. So I felt like it's very important for me to share this story with you guys because when they see Medina and I, they normally think that, you know, she met me when I was already famous. She met me when I already had something. But the truth is, this lady right here now, knew me when I had like nothing and basically that is where medina and i go from like come from uh we're not ashamed to say that we do not come from you know very wealthy or rich backgrounds but i could say that looking at what we've actually been able to build together it's it's commendable yeah so uh, this is a story uh, we felt like we really needed to share with you guys. Yeah, because most of you think we just started out, you know. You know, after all the YouTube thing, yeah. like, I was still, I still knew Medina even before I got into YouTube. I still knew Medina even before presenter Ali was presenter Ali. So this lady right here uh, takes a large part of my life and I really appreciate you, you know, for standing with me. I mean... Look at me now. I mean, look at us now. You're no, no, well. look at me now. I mean, <laughs> you you would be watching me on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but you I'm would so be proud looking at me. I'm I mean, I'm just you. kidding. Like yeah. this guy really works so hard. You really work hard. Like sometimes you even you don't sleep. Me, I even wonder how you do it. Like, how do you sleep for like two hours and then you just wake up and go to do? It's tough. I don't know how you a man do it. Ha- a man has to do what he has. To do. I don't know how you yeah. do it. But it's a man's thing. It's a man's thing. But one thing is, I respect you for what you do for this family because sometimes I see people coming to try and sabotage your work, and I'm like, you have no idea what this guy has been through. Just leave him alone. They have no idea. Uh, many people have no idea. Not only I, but even most of the people that I'm watching, uh, they have no idea what you're going through, so do not care about them. Uh, most people do not have any idea of uh, their family or the people that need you. So do not t- do not just think about you know what they say. Do not think about what they do to sabotage your careers in different fields. And I'm talking this you know from a friend's perspective. My fans, because I know many people maybe they are also going through the same. Like you want to achieve something, but you have people trying to pull you down. In a, Mommy, you're giving us to repair. What are you saying? Yeah. So basically, guys, uh, that is the story, and thank you also for being part of the inf- part of the journey and also yeah. inspiring us to do this type Better, of content. Yeah. 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 So we really wanted to at least to find one story, a uh, different from you know other things we do on this channel. Well, anyway, I hope in our video, sana. Thank you guys for watching um, our video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Again, if you're new here, kindly go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you have a question down below, if you want uh, us to, to give you guys another story, 
you can suggest on what you'd like to know about us maybe sometime we're gonna sit down here again and chat with you guys thank you so much and be blessed